The best quality hybrid and traditional photo lighting and shooting videos are available for you at ShootSmarterUniversity.com. And they're less than 10 bucks a piece, too. Hello, everyone. Paula Thomas here from sunny Seattle. And I wanted to talk to you today about Kelvin. Now, Kelvin is something that I've actually avoided in the past with photography. It was just too confusing, and I didn't want to take the time to understand it. So I want to take the time today to explain it and hopefully in as easy way as possible for you. I'm going to answer three common questions on Kelvin. First of all, what is Kelvin? Second, why is it important? And three, how do you use it? So what is Kelvin? Kelvin's the color temperature of light measured in degrees. The neutral color temperature is considered daylight temperature and that's at 5500 K. And then the higher the color temperature you have, the more blue or, or cool the temperature is. And then the lower the temperature, the more orange or more warm the color temperature is. Now, why is it important? It's important because when you're using LED panels especially, the color temperature of each panel could be different. So you want to check it to make sure that what your color temperature is of your lights are what they should be. And in general, you want to be at 5500 or 5600 K, which is the daylight temperature, and that's what most panels are, are made today. Now I do have one LED panel that I use called the Photodiox, and it has a color range on it. So it's important to, to know what the color range is. Now on the manufacturer's documents and on the, the back of the panel, there's a knob that has the color temperature, and it ranges from 3200 to 5600 K. So I did the test on my, my LED panel and it actually turns out that's not the color range that it actually is. So the color panel I have definitely is not 5600 K in the top range, it actually is 6500 K. I had to turn the, the color adjustment knob about a quarter, quarter turn clockwise in order to get it to 5600 K. Now I also have a Manfrotto panel and that one is marked as 5500K, and when I did a measurement test on that one, it actually was spot on and, and it was 5500K as advertised. So it's just important that you measure each of your, your LED panels so that you know what color temperature it actually is and not rely on the manufacturer's information because it may not be accurate. So how do you find the color temperature of your panel? What you'll need is a gray card, what I use here is a, a Passport um, by x right or you can use a, a gray card like this. And take, set your camera to custom white balance and set it to 5500K. And then take a short video of the white panel. And you want to do this in a dark room so that there's no other light sources available. And take your LED panel and then shine it on, on the card. Take your video and then import your video into your computer and run, there should be a program on your Mac called Color Checker and it's in your utilities folder. Or if you're using a PC, then you'll have to download a, some kind of a color checker that will give you the RGB values of um, any spot. So you'll take the, the app and run it over the gray card of your video and see what the RGB values are. Now what you'll want is for all the, the numbers to be same or within one or two uh, numbers different. And if it's, if for example, the red shows much higher than the G and the B values, that means that the color temperature is too warm. And you'll need to adjust your K value on your camera to around 5,000, and then shoot the video again, and then put it into your computer, run the test again, and see if that helps. It should have, it should have lowered that R temperature value so that it's more equal to the G and the B values. And you may have to do this a couple of times to find the exact sweet spot to get the RGB values the same. And once you find that sweet spot, that tells you what your color temperature is of your light. So once you have the color temperature of your lights known, and if they are different, then you'll want to invest in some red, green, and blue gels that you can put over the light to change the color temperature. And once you get these these color temperature gels, you'll want to test the lights again with the gels on to make sure that they are the, the color temperature that you want. Now it's important that, that 
you know all the color temperatures of your lights and you get them all equal because you don't want to have, for example, a reddish color temperature coming from this side and a bluish color temperature coming this side because then, you know, the, the temperature of your subject is going to be looking pretty, pretty crazy. You want all the color temperatures to be similar or close to the same so that your subject will be in good light. So that's just a quick overview on Kelvin and how to use, how to find the Kelvin temperature of your lights. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and I'll try to answer them for you. For this particular video, I'm using two light sources. I have on the camera right here, I have my Photodiax LED panel and that's set on the knob to show 5600K. And then on the camera left here, I've got a, a large window and that has sunlight coming in. So I was able to match the color temperature of the, the window light with my LED light panel so that the color temperature on my face has the same color and on both sides. So I'm, you're not seeing blue on this side and orange on this side. Uh, the color temperature should be pretty much the same. And I have my camera set to 5500K and that provides a nice neutral color temperature on me. The best quality hybrid and traditional photo lighting and shooting videos are available for you at ShootSmarterUniversity.com. And they're less than 10 bucks a piece, too.